generally speaking, I think any technology has the great potential that can have or maybe that benefit or harm to the society. And we always have to think about the, how to make use of that AI technology to, the, to make more productive way in the society. And sometimes, of course, that unexpected outcome may happen. So we in our bus have to think about what kind of the negative potential outcomes may happen in, in order to the, how to control that kind of potential negative things and want to be happen and uh, makes the technology more benefit to the society. So I think that AI ethics is really important in any situation, yeah. I think in, in my impression, um, people sometimes become too uh, optimistic and too pessimistic to the AI technology. So one thing is that they become too optimistic, so AI can do everything. But I think it's a wrong concept because AI is just only a technology uh, in which we have to make use of and in which we have to make a direction how to apply in a certain field of the society. So. It's always uh, under the control and under the decision making of the humans. So yeah, 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 it can have a big potential, but we have to think about how to control that and how to apply in a more productive way. And the other misconception I think is that people become too pessimistic about introductions of AI, that is that AI deprive our jobs and uh, the, our works and humans and they're excluded out from the, any jobs and workers. It's completely wrong uh, because uh, it's just a question of allocation of resources and the uh, division of labor is AI and humans. And the AI can replace that uh, something boring job or some other jobs and the, which have been done by the human. But however, the, there are a lot of things that the human can do that. And so um, we do not need to be too uh, pessimistic <laughs> of the new technology. New technology can, and in most cases, enrich our lives. Yeah. There are a lot of the many important questions, but for me, I think that um, for me that I have to apply in the certain potential field that AI can make a great development or great um, the improvement on that field. For me, it's a human resource uh, management. And that is that in the, for example, in Japan, <laughs> we have a human resource management, but there are a lot of the problem that, for example, the working too long hours and the death by overwork. But I think that the AI has the huge potential that improve the current problematic situations. And of course, we have to always consider about that. AI may bring something unexpected, uh, negative outcomes, so that we cannot say, oh, you, uh, if we can introduce um, the AI, then the, it um, resolves everything that we cannot say, but we can think about how to control the, the, the outcomes of AI and to make the, some directions and in, in the productive directions <laughs> and it's productive way by introducing AI and to control, not to, the, to prevent some unexpected uh, negative outcomes. So um, AI can bring uh, the extend some possibilities of the many working styles and make the bring the people's the uh, working style more flexible. I think. And that AI can bring some diversified uh, working styles. And that, for example, that now we are, uh, generally speaking, we are coming up to the workplace at nine o'clock and uh, go back to the home around five o'clock or something like that. But uh, we can change our working styles and our career development and bring so many more 
extended options. And I think that uh, people's uh, the incentives uh, will be more changed. For example, that um, people are sometimes uh, <laughs> getting uh, mental depression, they're working too hard, but uh, AI can bring more of the controlled um, working environment for the workers that decrease more stressing in the workplaces. So I think that um, AI can bring more diversified and flexible working conditions and also more uh, better working conditions for health and the mental things and more motivation control. Yeah. So I've already discussed with some people become super pessimistic that if, if AI can, that my job is the completely deprived of the, by the AI at all. That it's, uh, I think it, it's definitely wrong ideas. Because it's just only the question of the division of labor uh, between AI and humans. And uh, think about that, the two centuries ago, that uh, there are quite a few number of the farmers and the industry structures are quite different. Many people are working for the, in the agricultural sector, but now industry structures are completely changed after industrial revolutions. And this kind of uh, structure change in the industry and society and economy are inevitable. However, <laughs> I wouldn't say that humans uh, completely you know, excluded out from the economy or society and uh, repressed by the AI. I wouldn't say that because the, we have in our society a lot of challenges and there are a lot of the field that a human can do but on the other hand, if there are some, some jobs uh, which have been done by the human can be replaced by the AI. That makes our economy and workplace and other things more efficient and more productive. But I think that then there are a lot of things that the human, only human can do, for example, to try to decide uh, what kind of product we should produce and, or something, the creative things or some communication things that the, only the human can do. And uh, so it's, uh, I think, just questions of the division of labor between human and AI. So there are still a lot of the roles that the human can do. I think that uh, one thing, uh, there are a lot of things that the which academia you know, the, should do about AI and AI ethics. But the, one of the things is that uh, we should show the potential applications that still haven't applied to the AI, AI technology. Um, for example, that in Japan, uh, we have the, the, some applications of the AI ethic, uh, AI technology to the certain field of the workplace. However, I think that it's not enough. Uh, we can apply the extend more AI technology in a certain field, uh, which haven't uh, been applied yet. And yeah, so I think that AI is uh, quite the, the technology which have huge potential. <laughs> so we should show uh, this is a possibility. And this is another possibility uh, which AI can be Improve, improve our lives. So, so I think that we should show the, our the potential futures that can be improved like by AI technology. And also we have to show something by doing a kind of simulation so the AI technology may bring some uh, problematic outcomes like uh, privacy issues or some human rights issues or some other potential negative outcomes uh and uh, that can harm for people's uh, the activities but however that ai is a, ai is a technology made by humans so we can simulate and we can make uh, some kind of measures uh, that can control that that prevent negative outcomes by applications of ai so yeah so there are a lot of the <laughs> The, what we should do and what we can do that, that uh, regarding AI ethics and the governance of the AI.